Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I have this very simple, basic Valentine's Day look for you guys today. It's so easy, so simple, it doesn't require a lot of steps, and basically anybody can recreate it. If you guys like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe down below. If you would like to see how I got this look, please keep watching. So I'm going to start with priming my eyes with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And then I'm picking up my Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. I'm going in with the shade Roxy. This is just a really pretty light salmon shade that's just going to act as our transition color and bring out some of the pink in the look. I really wanted to do this instead of just a classic kind of brown neutral tone because I felt like this just would really help the colors to pop and I loved it it's so pretty. And although I did have to do a little bit more work because because those shadows are a little patchy at times it just blends it out beautifully in the end and it worked really really well then I went in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills modern Renaissance palette and I picked up the shade love letter this is a really pretty pinky purple shade almost like a magenta and it helped to just bring out more of that pink in the look and I just went in my crease with that and just helped to kind of blend that out now I'm going to be picking up the shade faint from my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette and I'm just going to be popping that on the innermost part of my lid, going towards the middle but not bringing it all the way into the middle. This is going to act as our very first kind of base shimmer shade. We are going to go back later with some Fix Plus just to make it a little bit more metallic and build it up a little bit more. But that's going to be our very first shade. And then from the middle onward, I'm going to be blending out and adding more so on the outer part of my eye, the shade Sissy. These two are just such pretty, beautiful pink shades, but they're so different in their own right. One is a very light, literally faint pink shade, and the other one has a little bit more of the rose golden feel to it. I feel like those are so pretty and perfect for Valentine's Day, and they really just bring out some really those pretty, you know, classic pinky tones. So a great tip to make sure that your shadows just look really blended, especially when working with shimmers, is to just go ahead with a clean brush or with whatever's left on the brush as long as it's like a lighter color, and just very gently go over the work you did just to make sure you don't have any harsh edges. And then I'm going in with the shade Jax from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm just going to be deepening out that um, outer corner. That area is just going to help to just give the look a little bit more dimension. And then I'm picking up my Stila Liquid Liner and just going along and doing like a nice little line. We're not winging it out or anything, we're just creating a nice little base and tying the look together for when we put on our lashes so there's no, you know, separation or anything poking through. And then I'm going to take those same transition colors and a little bit of that shade um, Jax again and just put that on my bottom lash line along the waterline just to make everything just look more seamless. Then I'm picking up this shade Vermeer and I'm going to be popping that in my inner corners and then I'm going to be going ahead and just bronzing up my face and putting the blush and highlight. I will have everything, all the names, linked down below. And to finish the look, we're going to be picking up the Lorac Pro Matte Lipstick in the shade Rose and just putting that on our lips. And that's going to bring in that perfect pinky, rosy Valentine's Day lip that I think all of us really love and enjoy. It's a very classic pink lip and it's really comfortable. It's in a, you know, stick, like lipstick, kind of chubby stick form. So super easy to use and it kind of helps you to line your lips and fill them in all at once, which is really wonderful. And that's going to complete our look, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe down below. And I really hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, whatever you decide to celebrate. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, my loves.